right, so we got a point at the origin that contains a charge. We got another point at negative two. So negative two, one, negative one. So it's like somewhere around here, right? And we want to know, or we know the E field, the E sub Z. So the Z component of the E field at this P right here. And this is point, we can call this O, but it's also Q naught. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what equation we're going to use, and that's going to be the uh, electric field equation. So it's Q over 4 pi epsilon naught r squared. And we'll be multiplying that by some unit vector. And in this case, our unit vector is going to be the distance from O to P. So it's going to be this vector right here. So we'll call it the vector OP over its magnitude OP. And recognize that this magnitude OP is just the distance between these two points, and that's also going to be our R. So these two are equal. They're like equal. They're basically the same value. So let's solve for that value first because we're talking about it. I'm talking about it so goddamn much. I might as well solve for it, right? So R would equal. Well, first, let me back up a second. Let's find this vector OP. So vector OP would be equal to uh, P minus the, the point O, which we're calling O, which is at the origin. So that's just negative 2 minus 0 is negative 2. 1 minus 0 is negative 2. And negative 1 minus 0. So it's just basically the uh, vector, this P value. Same values in vector format. Let me move this thing. Um, so then we find the magnitude of that, magnitude of OP, equal to R, which is the magnitude of these three points, so that would be, um, that's a 4, because negative 2 squared is 4, plus 1, plus 1, from here, negative 1 squared is 1, 1 squared is 1, that's equal to root 6, right? So then, so now we know the radius, we know the vector OP, we know this Q from the Q naught. Q naught was given. Or no, we're looking for Q. Sorry, we're looking for Q naught. And we know, we don't know this E, but we know the EZ. So let's let's write out what we know. So we know E is equal to, this is going to be our Q naught point, right? 4 pi epsilon naught, whoops. Over um, R, which is square root of 6 squared, so that's going to be a 6 right there. Square root of 6 squared, 6 times negative 2, 1, 1, right there. And then this value, OP, is also square root of 6, so that's the other square root of 6. Now, the problem here is that this is an E, and we don't know what our E is, but we know what our EZ is. So, what we can do is kind of neglect these two these this x component and this y component so then from there we'll have this ez equals q naught at 4 pi epsilon naught um, 6 root 6 so we're no longer in a um, this is no longer like a vector equation we're dealing with a scalar now so solving for q naught because we know this value is a uh, this was given up in the question above. This is one kilovolt per meter. So solving for Q naught, you would get that equal to be 1.63 microcoulombs. And then the next part of the question, it needs wants to know the E at M equals M equals the point one six five. And E is question mark. So we want to know, it's basically the reverse of what we just did. We want to know the electric field now. And now we know the given charge. So we have an equation that looks something like this. E equals Q naught. We're using the same equation. Q naught is negative 1.63 microcoulombs over 4 pi epsilon naught. R would be uh, the magnitude of this value, right? Same thing we did before. Um, Square root of 1 plus 36 plus 25. 
Now I beat to the three halves. And they're gonna uh, multiply by the vector one, six, five. Because it'd be the vector O, M. Uh, o, M is, is M minus the origin point again, because that's where our charge is. And just like we did before, you see how this is to the three halves? It's, it's kind of like a six to the three halves. That's what we'd have here, this R value to the three halves. And you'd solve that and you'd get some value. But this time, instead of it being like a scalar value here, you'd have a vector value of the electric field and it'd have some value X, Y, Z. And then you can, um, the rest of the question wants you to transport to like Cartesianal, or no, this is Cartesianal. It wants you to transfer it to uh, um, rectangular, or spherical, and cylindrical, sorry. And that's just some calc shit. You can Google the conversions. They're real simple. It's like uh, theta equals, it'll, they'll be like arc tangents or something like this one would be y over x for the cylindrical and then z would equal z. But yeah, you can just Google that. Google the conversions and it's pretty simple. Peace.